Michael Kopech going to the mound for his 19th start of the year. His ERA is really good at 3.16. Few too many walks, 45 and 88 in the third, but right handers have done nothing with them. The left hander hasn't been great, and there is one guy that will run, and that's Maryfield. MJ Melendez will lead it off. On the ground, backhanded pick by Moncada, and a good strike to first. Salvador Torres. Moncada's going to make all three plays. Very quick one, two, three on seven pitches for Kopech. And they'll be going up against Daniel Lynch, who is back from the injured list, hoping that his blister problems are behind him. Let's hope. Let's just see how he how he goes. He's facing Tim Anderson, one of the top hitters in the game. Fastball got him. But it took 10 pitches. One away. And now the batter will be Yoan Mankata. Next offering. In there, strike three called. Boy, he zipped it on the inside corner beautifully. And back-to-back -back strikeouts by Lynch. Now with two out, the batter will be Jose Abreu. And he made a good pitch there to jam Abreu. And the Royals force out Vaughn at second base. So it's a scoreless first. Another scoreless first for Daniel Lynch. Pasquantino hitting 219 with three home runs, five driven in. A wind and pitch. And a swing and a shot down the left field line. Works his way into the corner. And it is up against the wall. And Pasquantino will cruise into second base with a leadoff double. Here's the 2-2 from Kopech. Dozier flies one, lines one right to the second baseman. Leury Garcia who leaps and makes a grab off the bat that looked ticketed for center field but Leury brought it back home no shift against Michael A. Taylor line to center here comes Adam Engel well, a couple of the outs were line outs Kopech will gladly take them still nothing nothing Aloy Jimenez he has a six game hit streak going good slider away and Daniel Lynch strikes out his third. A perfectly executed slider. Daniel with the 2-0 pitch. And it's swung on and hit in the air. Foul territory. Prado over. Does he have room? Yes, he does. Nice play by Nick. Back to the top for KC. MJ Melendez is 0 for 1. In the air. Right field. Over in that corner. It's Vaughn. And he makes a catch. In foul territory. Nicely done by Andrew Vaughn. As we know, there's not a lot of uh, ground down there. You see the foul line in the barrier. Excellent play. And down he goes on three pitches. Lynch has four. And that'll bring up their number nine hitter, Adam Engel. Fastball got him. So that's a good first time to the order for Daniel Lynch. One hit. And five strikeouts. And now Tim Anderson comes up. Oh. Took Ten pitches, and that hit Lynch. And all he can do is pick it up. And he's already motioned to the dugout that he's fine. But there's no harm in going out there and making sure. Yeah, now I wonder where it got him. It sounded up here like it may have got the sole of his shoe. I hope it hit the bottom of it. That bit, ball was hit at 99 coming back. So Tim Anderson ends up with a single. 0-2 to Moncada into center field on the ground. Anderson around second. He's got the gas pedal down. He'll motor into third. Runners on the corners for the White Sox with two away in the third. Andrew Vaughn batting for the White Sox. Runners at the corners. Chased a high fastball. And it's Melendez coming in from right. And he's got it. So Kopech has sit down. 10 of 11. And that will bring up Salvador Perez. 2 1 pitch. Swing and a high fly ball to center. Angle going back. Angle watching that one go. Long home run just to the right of straightaway center. Salvador Perez does it again. Have you seen a ball hit up there before? My goodness. Salvador Perez went op over two of those Ivy walls in straightaway center field. His 14th of the year. And the Royals lead it one to nothing. So the Royals have two on with only one out. And the kid, Michael Garcia, coming up. They'll try to turn it. And they will. That's 
that's a double play. The Sox turn two. Royals lead at one nothing. Daniel will go back to work. Angle struck out swinging first time up. Mm. Got him. My that's seven strikeouts for Daniel Lynch and two down in the fifth. And he is attacking the strike zone with all of his pitches. And that will bring Yoan Mankata to the plate. The lefty checks Anderson, brings the pitch. Anderson goes. Ball is hit to the right side. Fielded by Merrifield. He's throwing plenty of time. That does it for the White Sox. No runs, a hit. And that'll bring up Whit Merrifield. He has five homers, and he certainly is capable of hitting one anywhere, and certainly here. They play him straight up, of course. Nobody on one out, the pitch. And he'll swing, hit it high in the air. Down the left field line, and that ball is a home run. Whit Merrifield goes deep for the sixth time this year. And the Royals double their lead. It's two to nothing. 0-2 on Vaughn, who is singled and flied out to right field. Taylor back on it, and it's over his head. Vaughn will have a double. So Andrew Vaughn now at third base, two down. It's going to be deflected by Mills. Out to Garcia, and the inning is over. And the White Sox are scoreless in the sixth. So two in scoring position, but two out in the inning. Little flare, and Larry will get back there and make the catch. Kopech through seven. It's 2-0, Kansas City. First and third for the Sox, and the Sox are in business. Don't make this a wasted at bat at all. Get that man in from third base. In the air to left field. Garcia ready to tag. Dozier makes the catch, and he'll fire smartly to second to keep Zavala at first. White Sox have their first on the board with a sacrifice fly from Gavin Sheets. Runners at first and second for the White Sox. Andrew Vaughn is the guy that's got to do exactly that. Now the pitch. Swing and a little bouncer to the right side. Whit Merrifield in the outfield grass. Spins, throws on a hop to first. He got him! And a throw home. Salvi tags out the runner scoring. Real smart play by Prado. Why not fire to the plate yep. just in case? They got four outs, but you can't hold it over to the next inning. Yep. We were told Prado could really get it done at first base, and we saw it here. And the tying run is on with one out. And the batter will be Tim Anderson. This guy has been ultra clutch this year. Ground ball to third. Lopez, second one. Merrifield to first. In the dirt. Picked by Prado. And Scott Barlow gets a two-inning save. And the Royals beat the White Sox tonight 2-1. Oh, man, timely forget about right field. Why not just roll them up a little ham and eggs on a Monday night? Tastes just as good, especially when it ends the game.